You know, I've often wondered that if you had the right PCP rifle, one with a small air capacity, one that had fairly good uh, economic air usage, could it be as economic to shoot uh, as far as the time investment uh, as it would be for a Springer, shooting a Springer? So, in other words, to simplify this, uh, I want to do a test. I've got a Hotson 125, 50 pound cocking weight, uh, Magnum Springer. I'm going to time myself loading and shooting 30 pellets with that and capture a total time. And then I uh, captured the time it took me to pump up my Avenger from 3000 PSI to 4100 PSI. And I'm going to shoot, load three magazines and shoot 30 pellets through that and compare the time it takes to basically send 30 pellets downrange for each of the two platforms and see what the difference is in between them. Is the Springer really quicker to shoot? Um, then the uh, can I get 30 shots off with the Springer faster than I can pump up, provide the air, and load magazines and get 30 shots off with the Avenger? I think it's an interesting contest. Let's see what happens. Okay, again, we're going from 3000 PSI. We're going to charge it up to 4300, or at least that's the plan. Okay, let's see if we got our, our pump situation resolved. That's about 4,100, I'm gonna call that done. That is a workout. It may have helped to lubricate the pump before we started and I didn't do that. So it's at about 4,100 PSI. That's what we'll shoot with. We'll shoot down to 3,000 PSI. And uh, on, the, on the brake barrel, I made the timer. I set the time to include counting out 30 pellets. Um, so I would know when I was done with the 30 shots. On this one, I'm not going to. I'm just going to... Uh, load the magazine three times since it holds 10 shots and that'll be the 30. I'll take that as uh, the mechanism of counting. So we'll go ahead and move the pellets closer to me and once I start loading the magazine our time will start. So it's now.
minutes after four o'clock in the afternoon and it is 90 plus degrees and it was just freaking hot okay first mag is loaded rifles cocked mag is inserted our holdover is That's it. That was 30 shots. Okay. I'm going to start, start the contest by counting out 30 pellets into the pen or into the, the lid for loading purposes just to make sure that I've got the right count.
Okay. okay, we made it down from the hundred yards. This is what the target looks like. Remember the 10 shots I fired from the Springer are circled. So this is the 30 shot pattern. So that's going in, that's probably seven or eight inches probably is what I'm gonna guess. And the most extreme shot over to the right was this one and that's about in line with what the previous was. The first shots that I shot, that was the highest. And actually, okay, there's one that is higher. So we had one shot that shot a little bit higher, but that's pretty well in line with what you would expect. Our lowest extreme spread, that was from the first 10. All right, there's the lowest one that I see on this 30 shot group. That was the far, far left spread on the first 10 that I shot. And this right here is about as far. So everything grouped into a, into maybe four inches. Well, taking out the far flyers anyway, the bulk of it went in at about four inches. And the bulk of it went in probably inside of inside of eight inches. So four by eight basically is where most of the shots landed. We can count them later and actually figure out what the distribution on it is. But that's what we got. Next, I'm gonna I'm gonna do uh, 30 shots with the PCP, and I'll. Okay, there's our 30. So I had five out, two out, and the rest of them were all inside of a three inch, yeah, about a three inch circle, the lid of a can of pellets from 100 yards.